sisters stay and are foam and Michaela and hey, welcome back, y'all. Hey, I like that shirt of yours. You want to show everybody out there in TV land that pretty artsy shirt? Oh, that's great. Hey, right, Ray, so let me tell you something, kitties. Today, what we're going to do in Big Kitties 2, we are going to look in the art fun bag for some different art supplies. All right, Kayla, listen to me. Uh, oh, wait a minute, you. Kayla has some art jokes, don't you? You want to read some? Well, we had to write them down because old Stye is starting to lose it a little bit. Okay, how do you want me to read one and then you read one? Okay, okay, all right. Here we go. I don't have my glasses, but I'll try it. Okay. Uh, what did the artist uh, draw, draw before he went to bed? The curtains! <laughs> hey, you you try a couple here and see if you can stump Stay. Stump Stay. What does a mama color wheel say to a to a baby color wheel? What does a mama color wheel say to a baby color wheel? I don't know. Don't you use that tone with me? Oh, for crying out loud! Okay, tone. Wait, wait, wait. Well, well, she got another one. Oh boy, doesn't why get funnier. Was, it gets later. Why was the artist afraid he might go to jail? Because he'd been framed. Why did the artist? Why did the, Why did the picture think he was going to go to jail? Because yes. he was framed. Yes. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait! One more. Oh, they always say one more. Go That's ahead. Final. Okay. What's green and smells like blue paint? What's green and smells like blue paint? Green paint! Oh <laughs> my goodness! Uh, okay. Oh boy. All right. Good job. High five. High five. All right. Reach in here and pull me out circle templates and triangles. In French curves, you ever hear of that mouthful? See if you can find it. Oh, what happened? What? Ow! What hit the? Okay, there's that. Did we poke ourselves in that or something? Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Be careful. We're done. We're done. All right. What do you got? Let me see what you got here. These are templates and stencils and rulers and things that we like to use in the art world. This reminds me of Santa's sleigh. Oh my goodness, it does. It's a wonderful thing to use when you're drawing curves and straight lines and edges. And you got to be careful, everybody, because you're invisible. So you can't see them sometimes. Well, this one, that big one in the middle fell in the dirt. That's why it's a little dirty. So these are called templates. Did you find the circle one? Yep, 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 yep. We use all kinds of these things in the art world. And sometimes... There are different things to draw and trace. Okay, so, ready? That's, that's the first thing. Now the next thing we're gonna look up here, okay? Uh, give me some pencils. We gotta tell the kitties about the pencils in there. Watch what you're grabbing. Oh, what is in there? Oh. Holy moly, Sharky, how do you get in there? All Sharky. right, okay, pull those things out and let's show the camera here. Put it down there, lay it down on the thing. Okay, this is your HB number two pencil. Give me the other this yellow. This is your six. Sweetheart, buddy, pal. Okay, there we go. Six B? All right, so I want to tell everybody out there that if it's a B on these art pencils, Four it's H. a bold or dark lead. And if it's an H, see how this is a 4H? This is an HB. Okay, H, oh, you're getting ahead of me there, Einstein. Okay, an HB is the same as your number two, see? Number two HB pencil you use in school. But if there's an H in it, it's a light lead. This is a light lead. That means you gotta press dark with it. And if it's a B, it's a bold dark lead. So you want to press light. So 
Shoppers, art shoppers, and pay attention when you're out there. What these do with these is whenever you can use a paper, you can put that down and trace. Hmm. That's right. And do you know why there are no erasers on art pencils? Because artists don't make mistakes. <laughs> okay. I'm um, a con artist. Sometimes, sometimes they do, but they turn them into something new. Oh, very good point. She basically just said, if you're drawing something and you think you made a, a boo-boo, take the boo-boo and instead of erasing it, make it into something else. Boy, you're so smart. Okay, let's see. What do we got in here now? Uh, pull out the chalk. The colored chalk and the regular chalk. Uh, sometimes in the art. Yeah, and the art now. You kids and grandkids and grandmas and paps and and moms and dads and aunts and uncles and guppies and doggies. You have seen the classic colored chalk. Okay, reach so in there. happy I got chalk out. Yeah, now reach in there, Butterball, and pull out, pull out the bag of Pastels. These are chalk pastels. These are a little bit stronger than oil. Well, no, these are a little stronger than the chalk that you what? get into. This is a little, a little stronger than the colored chalk at school. These are great for making murals and stuff. And there's also oil pastels, but make sure you read the label if it's a chalk pastel or an oil pastel, because you got to make sure you know how to clean them up, because with the oils you might have to use, uh, like, um, Wesson. Wesson's good to get that stuff off your hand. Or Crisco, they still make that stuff. Used to be, I had to use Crisco for suntan lotion, <laughs> that's right. Either white or completely red. All right, one more thing. Hmm. One more thing. Hmm. And we'll do a couple more jokes for the road. Okay. Can you find crayons in there? I got to teach everybody out there uh, a little lesson about crayons. Are they still in there? Or did they fly away someplace? Yeah. Okay, so watch here. Now, we actually had uh, somebody call in with this little dilemma. Do you know what a dilemma is? No. I didn't either until I looked it up. It means a problem. So guess what? It was really, really hot one day and this one artist threw his crayons and these are the primary colors. Tell them the primary colors. Yellow, blue, red. And then the green is a secondary color and along the other, with- And the other oh, two secondary what colors are, is orange and purple. Very good. So he accidentally left it in the back of his car and it was 80 degrees and the sun melted it. And it turned into Yeah, because, hey, thing. well look, here, I'll give you a little test. Wait, a question, a question. But, uh, when was the last time you went to a restaurant? You I, looked like a restaurant. I did! That's what I got for being a good boy. Now look, if you, I'm gonna give you a quiz. If you take yellow and blue and mix it together, what do you get? You get green. Very good. If you take red and blue, and blue yeah, what do you get? Purple. Very good. And if you take red and yellow, you get orange. Now this kid. And if you get white and pink, it gets red. No, white and red gets pink. You almost had it. White and red oh, yeah. is pink. Yeah, yeah. Throw a little bit of yellow in and you'll have a flesh tone like this. I love that. Peachy, peachy keen. Anyways, so let me tell you about this kid who threw all of them in the back of his car. It was 80 degrees and it melted together. And you know what hmm. color you get when they go all different colors and mold together? Uh, Ugly pea soup color. It's awful. Okay, so we're going to end with a couple more jokes. And then that'll be the end of Sty Supplies for this episode of the Art Fun Shops. Which animals are famous painters? Guys, I'm back. What animals are famous painters? Oh, hello, Sharky. Pablo Pig Castle and Vincent Van Goat. <laughs> and this is the last one. Did you hear about the artist that always took things too far? No. She didn't know when to draw the line. <laughs> okay, from me and Michaela, mahalo! <laughs> Behave, Sharky.
You're on TV. Smile. Keeping your eye out for good old stay and stay supply.